Uh, what is guys? It's your boy Iverson Torres, and today we are about to react to Shane Dawson, the truth about Tana Mugu. I can't say your last name. I'm sorry, Tanya. Tana. We're gonna edit that out. Like, I mean, like for real. Like, we're not. Okay. Just gonna keep it in there. Make myself look stupid. Yeah. Um. So the true. This is part two about Tonicon. Yeah. I think I said. I don't know if I'm ever saying it right. I don't know. But I'm. Um, I'm so 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 interested in this. Next thing you know, I'm guessing it's gonna be part three, and I'm gonna be reacting to that. Oh yeah. Why, I understand, I mean, come on, come on Shane, come on Shane, you expose this woman if you can, or expose Tana Khan, or expose Good Times Company, whatever, expose all of it, you know, because I'm your biggest fan, Shane, I don't know much about Tana Khan, I don't know about Tana either, I don't know about any con except for VidCon or Comic Con. Call me a nerd if you want. But Comic Con is. is shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Let's. Let's get it. Are you guys having fun today? No, it's so hard for me. I just texted him and said I'm doing a video about all of this and I want to interview all sides and make sure it's balanced and not bullshit. Are you around today for an interview? Michael? The CEO of Good Times, Michael Weiss. I mean, even if it's just like... A phone call. Oh my god. I just got a text. Oh my god. The police put out an official statement saying there was only 4,000 people outside. Just right now? Yes. I'm going to give you the exclusive statement that I got from the Garden Grove Police. There was approximately 4,000 to 5,000 people at most. There was not 20,000 people there. Oh. That means that there was 1,000 people inside, just like they said, and then 4,000 people would pay tickets outside. The hotel ballrooms where the event was scheduled could hold a maximum of 1,000 people. TanaCon no. had sold 4,000 tickets. What's going on? Idiot! Yeah. Literally exactly what we thought. Yeah. There was no permit for this event. Like, this is a fucking scam! I want my money back! And somebody I want my needs money to be back held too, responsible for this. <laughs> I just read there was a police statement put out that there was only 4,000 people outside. I 100% believe that. There's not a chance in hell it was 15,000. I've never seen 15,000 people in my entire life, you know? Oh my Tina God, said herself know. that Did nothing you? in Anaheim other than VidCon could hold that many people. Yeah. How could a parking lot? Um, I'd love to see another statement from Good Times. I can't wait to see what they say next. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't even know where they are. <laughs> Our medics treated a 14-year-old female minor who was knocked down by the crowd. She was taken oh. to a local hospital for minor injuries. Okay, I just got a text from Michael. I was like, hey man, um, just letting you know, everybody's like saying a lot of things about you and I want to give you your chance. I want to interview you, are you down for that? And he said, uh, yeah. He goes, also like, I'm working on making it a documentary. I have all the footage, <gasps> and I think it's gonna be oh. emotional and awesome. Literally, my okay, so these girls out there, they said, they were like, oh, I think that Good Times wanted this to fail so that they could get press out of it and become like get promotion out of it or something, right? Thousands of fans showed up to the first day of TanaCon and things quickly descended into chaos. Now it would make sense because if they did want it to fail, 
and they were filming the whole thing. Why were they filming the whole thing? Was the whole point of this to make a documentary and to sell it to Netflix or sell it to somebody and get promotion? Make a doc like it literally, right? That's what it sounds like. Why else would he? No, I think they oversold tickets and then they're now trying to turn it into something because they need to make money to try to pay kids back and they're scamming. This word has been easily thrown around lately, but I think I need to label Tana Mojo's event a scam. You scared people out of their time, out of their money. It is a scam. You stole things from people. That's crazy. Who is that guy? So are you gonna interview him? Who is he? Well, he's not, he fucking left town. The second it happened, he got on a plane and left. Where'd he go? I don't understand. Where did he live? Where did he live? Where did he live? I don't know. Just like, what does that even mean? Oh. Well, Tana supposedly is coming back from Tana and I. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Did you really say that on ironic? I didn't know I said it. Wait, that's the title of the documentary. <laughs> Tanaheim. I put my soul out of there. This is crazy. It's like I'm inside on conspiracy. That'd be a good movie. I'll go see that. Hi, I'm sorry for calling you again. I just. So, my phone's talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not here. 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 He's not but he wants to do an interview and he said he's already working on his own awesome documentary about this whole thing. Why would he say that? You know what's funny? It's so much your mind being on the front and filming stuff for my YouTube channel, right? Uh-huh. The last scene with Bella and uh, Tana. And Michael's video on the first film came and I was like, everything you film this hour, you can everything to get it. You can't have any other footage for our documentary, blah, blah, blah. And we were like, what? Like, all of these influencers that, like, like Michael manages, like, Dude, they're scamming you. That's why. We knew this was going to fail from the beginning. We're trying to. Oh. They were too afraid of him to tell him before. You should have done your research, girl. Oh, my God. I mean, do you. I'm going to do that interview with him. Do you want to. I'm going to do that interview with him. Do you want to. I'm not going to do that interview with him. I'm not going to do that interview with him. I'm not going to do that interview with him. I'm not going to do that interview with him. Just say you didn't fucking say all the shit. Then let's fucking do it. Girl, you're not getting any money from this kind of way. It's a hundred percent, and you're you're gonna take the blame and say all that. But still, like there is some crazy shit. People know there's some crazy shit going on. I think should we just plan on 9 p.m. Cool. Okay. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, you gotta find his man, Michael. Own all the footage. It's go go crazy. I'm in a conspiracy. How did this happen? You also can't just write this off on him, though. You have to get pretty. Does this chick do her research? Or, or, no, I'm not doing that. Before she hires him. I mean, that is crazy. She don't. Like, you can't just write off. She did that to her so. like, yeah. No, she fucked up. She knows that. I'm gonna grill her on that. I want her to know everything. But also, like, like this is crazy. You guys have no idea for these surprises that I have in store for you. So then it was time for me to talk to Michael, and um, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Um, Don't get monetized for this. Okay. So, um, is that a FaceTime? Michael. Michael. So, I got a list of things from Tana um, that she wanted me to ask him. Saying things like he lied about the capacity size of the hotel, he lied about background checks and security. The hired private security at the event could not handle the crowd. Our security for Terracon is crazy, as you guys can see. It's about 20 or 30,000 kids out there, and they got little old me and my team, my team out here trying to keep, keep, keep these guys in line. This shit is no joke. It is no joke. Um, I think you have to go into the, the FaceTime app or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Oh, hey. 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 Can we, I want to say something before you. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. The last thing I want to do is throw anyone under the bus. And I, I'm risking my career by potentially throwing someone on the bus that I work with. And I don't want to do that. But I do want to talk and I do want to like answer questions and everything. When you say you don't want to throw somebody under the bus, you mean Tana? Tana?
why why were you guys documenting everything? We wanted to document it. For some reason, we thought it was going to be amazing. Why would they not make a documentary? So that was one thing that I heard today, which was that you guys wanted to own all the footage, even hunters. Like, was that, that true? Yeah, we not obviously like like never like we own every right to everything from outside sources. Yeah, we just wanted to control control because we wanted to make a documentary on it. You know, so like right. Um, okay. okay. I think the main thing is, and the reason I was so confused, it didn't make sense to me before I even talked to Tanner or anybody. That venue is so small. Like, it didn't make sense. The Marriott told me to my face that it will hold right around 4,000 people because we were doing all the ballroom space, the main ballroom, the lobby, the restaurant base, we have all out for Saturday meetups. For the record, we are looking into litigation against the Marriott. Um, we're not fucked up from the rest of the hotel at all, so I feel really bad for the actual guests that are here. We're 100% going going into litigation against the Marriott. Now, I think one other thing that was confusing was where did the number 15,000 people come from? Because I don't believe that for a second. We basically we know that there was not there was well more than ten thousand people. I don't I don't I don't know exactly what that number is, but based on like what was inside and basically that first thousand came in, that should have been one fifth of the crowd. We knew exactly what was going out. We've done it before. Everything was registered, and it wasn't. Like it was it was people were asking to buy tickets at the door. We were asking to this. Like it was that's what caused the delay. And in hindsight, we we should have had a, a, a separate line that was for non-purchase tickets, because I think there, there may have been an impression where you could get free tickets there, um, and, and clearly that was not, not the case. So you, you guys are claiming that there was security, but I've interviewed multiple people who were there who said not only were their bags not checked, their IDs weren't even looked at. I didn't even need to show them my ticket, I was like, oh yeah, I have VIP, and they like gave me a badge and let me through. When I went through the list that somebody sent me, your, your assistant sent me of the people that RSVP'd for my meet and greet, it was only like 390 people, and the girls I met today that showed me proof that they did RSVP, their names weren't on the list. So everything just seems so confusing, because I'm like, what, what is this? Like, like there clearly was, was like, if it, if it was, was just like, like oh, oh, we fucked up, we didn't know we were doing, this was way out of our hands, like we shouldn't have taken this on. That's one thing. I think what people are confused about is like all the lies. It's like, oh, we had really good security. Like, no, you didn't. Oh, we had re we had background checks. Uh uh. Oh, we had multiple lines. Like, no, there wasn't. It was just one line. Of, oh, there was like a crazy mob of angry 12,000 people. Like, no, it was probably mostly people that did buy tickets. And like, there wasn't really any free tickets. Like, have you seen anyone with like a regular free bag? Everyone's had VIP that I've spoken to. All the free giveaways. Like, was that just not real? Was it like, you know what I mean? There's just so many things like that that are confusing that Tana isn't able to answer and maybe she is and maybe she's lying to me that's what I want to get down to the bottom of so it's not even about throwing people under the bus it's like what the fuck happened and I, I know and I know you're concerned I'm probably more concerned than anyone I want this event to succeed more than anyone else and I want to make sure that this event succeeds I spent money that I didn't have every line of credit that I could access I did it because I needed to Tana and I believed in every possibility that like we could we could do this and, and, and Tana's vision would you know be a success and I'm going to lose everything over this. So what do you mean when you say that? You so you put in your own personal money into this? Like I am the sole owner of Good Times. My money is everything, I guess. Like it's expensive to throw a convention. And I would be the last person to want this to fail. And I get that the fans are upset. I'm more upset than you could ever imagine. You don't understand, Jamie. It is so heartbreaking. And I'm going to lose everything. Like everything. And how can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. How old are you? Oh my god. How did you yeah. get into all of this? How long have you been doing this? I started my business when I was a 17 year old. Smith, 21? We did shows that were sold out across the country. Back when, like, Zion was big. Hey guys, what is up? It is female Seacrest at Playlist Live Orlando with Michael Weiss. Um, how are you doing today? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm good. We used to do shows with, like, I don't know, uh, Taylor Kniff and, like, Jacob Whitesides, all the Mad Clown kids. And they just scaled up and grew. And over time, you know, we moved into talent management and we had new divisions go up this is ruining my relationships with people that i've worked with in the industries for years
I cannot, I'm shaking violently. Like, I'm shaking right now. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Why? I mean, when, you, right. when you said that you didn't want to throw Tana under the bus, because tonight I'm going to go in, I'm going to talk to her, and I'm going to at some point call you with her. But I want to, like, get to the bottom of it with her. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I want the truth, you. you know? So what, when you say you don't want to throw her under the bus, what do you mean? Is there something that nobody's saying? Is there something that nobody knows about? Is she... Was this her plan? Like, what was this? We were all so excited and so happy and, like, full of love and joy. We were all doing this for the right reasons. So, so your um, birthday party on the 22nd? Oh, yeah, we have to have creator parties, and those have to be, like, oh, legendary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only because of their... No, it was never anyone's plan for all of this to happen. Well, that doesn't even make sense. Why, why would I do that? Yeah. My career is going to fall apart. Yeah. It already is. Do you think at the... You know, the bottom line is, this was just way out of your guys' realm of, you know, possibility. And when I first called Tana, I called her, I was like, let's fucking do it, girl. Like, we were also I was like, let's throw Tana on. We can make this huge, like, let's, let's do it. The first thing I said was, do we have to do it at VidCon dates across the street? Can I put it in a different city at a different time? Let's have the time frame that we need to get the perfect venue but everything's good to go. At the end of the day, we had no choice. Like, we had, she wanted during VidCon, looking back, for a decision. If the Marriott believed that we couldn't do it, they should have never, ever, ever, ever let that happen. And also, like, for the record, everyone's talking about free funds. I don't even have the money from the ticket company. The ticket company is holding funds. Tana said, oh, actually, let me not. I don't want to throw Tana under the bus. No, don't, no, you honestly, I don't want to say to throw her under the bus, but I, I would say your truth because she's not, she's not making you look great. I know she's not. I cannot deal with it, Shane. It's so hard. So, so hard. And, like, Tana's telling people she spent hundreds of thousands of her own money. No, she didn't. Not a dollar. I'm also so incredibly excited for the future of TanaCon and the future of making my event as cheap and free as possible. We spent everything. We paid for everything out of my pocket, Shane. Like, I risked it all to make this happen. My house, my car, everything. I'm gonna lose everything. And I want people to, like, understand that. Why the fuck would you? on purpose. Yeah. I can't really go tweet, hey, this is what happened. Number one, I don't want to hurt Tana, but at the same time, I don't know how much more I can take. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, this is like your life and you, you can protect Tana as much as you, whatever, but like, I think the time of protecting Tana is over. I think we've all kind of done it for a long time and you shouldn't let this, you know what I mean? It's like, you shouldn't feel like you have to because this is... This is, a, this is like worst case scenario. You know? I know, and it, it is the worst case scenario. Like, it was not what we wanted to happen. What was, what was the, the goodie, goodie bag thing? thing? That was that another was big thing where people were just like so mad because it was told, oh, this is going to be quadruple. The ticket price is going to be awesome. And it was like... Frankly speaking, this is another... Oh my God. This is another thing that pisses me off and breaks my heart. Like, basically, Tana and I did not meet a lot of the time. Tana would basically give us all these things to deal with. I'm going to meet 5,000 people. How the fuck is Tana gonna sit there and be fine with you? But Tana will be like, the gift bag is gonna be four times what it is. The dent's in two weeks, Tana. What, what, how are we gonna do that? I can't order products from China or here or where to get it into a goodie bag in time. I can't call a sponsor to give us that help me. You can, Tana. Maybe you can call such and such and get three things and put in every gift bag. Help us. You just tweet, we have to buy bye bye. Oh, well, the meetup groups are gonna be this way. Okay, great. Now let us go back and reschedule everything and try to fix it out in an hour. Like, that's not how business works. The worst part about all of this. Was that Friday night when everything happened? I cried for hours. I was literally walking from venue to venue crying, trying to find something out. It's not over. It's not over. It's 11 p.m. We're still calling venues. It's 2 a.m. We're still calling venues. Do you know where Tana and mm are? -mm. At Studio 71 party. Yeah, yeah. Not to throw her under the bus. And I'm like, really trying not to be like attacking. Tana, what do you what want to do? Do you want to reschedule the entire event for January? We didn't even know. Everyone was waiting for the statement. No word from Tana. Well, we're, I'm crying, but I just lost everything that I had. Mm. Trying to find a solution to make everyone happy. They were both drunk as soon as they won. I'm sure as hell I'm not going to go to a party after you just cancel this event. The day before, trying to fix it. Like, that was a huge pivotal point. We had basically 12 hours to find this a solution. Yeah. Instead of sitting in this boardroom with us, like me and my staff did not sleep for two days straight at that point. 
They were out acting like everything was good. Yes. Well, I saw that she was on vacation, like literally the day before, like the week before. She was in Hawaii with Bella. We're in Hawaii. Mahalo, bitch. Mahalo. Aloha. Mahalo. And like, we're sitting here being like, we have a month to do this, Tana. You are in Hawaii? And it's like, okay, have fun. We'll do it. We'll figure it out. Like, our team can just kind of make decisions. I prefer to not use a lot of this footage of me throwing Tana under the bus because I love her to death. And it's going to look bad. Every kid is like, oh, we don't want to run with Michael because he's going to throw me under the bus. But like, Shane, I'm damn near suicidal over this. Like, this is really, really hurting me. People don't understand that. Tana doesn't understand that. Then that's why I'm doing this. I mean, my goal is to give some reality checks to people. I think people. She's gonna be mad, and I wanna like, like, hug her in person. Like, man, this is where we made a mistake. Like, like, loving and like coming from a place of love, not a place of anger. And I'm sorry that you had to experience it. I'm sorry, Tana has to. I'm sorry, the fans have to. Like, we all have to experience this. Like, this is real. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you definitely put out apologies and statements faster than she did, and that kind of says something, so. And we were trying to get it faster, like, our team wrote them as soon as it happened, like, what, what's the plan? We, we couldn't get a response. Like, like, I've got to figure out what to do. Like, I'm looking at bankruptcy. It's going to probably ruin my life for the next seven years. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that we're doing this. You know, at the end of the day, the light the light falls on me. And, and not Tana, not, Tana, not, anyone, not else. anyone else. Yeah. Thank you for giving me this chance to explain myself, because I can't really, like, really, like go on the one live on Twitter or wherever and like, put my voice out there without getting attacked. Yeah. And, and thank you, thank you. Of course. Truly, truly. All right, all right, all right man. You. I'll keep it posted. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 Tana really Tana did really think did that this guy was like some crazy, crazy scheming, scheming, you know, evil, evil genius, genius whose whose his whole plan, plan was to whatever. Was like, whatever. Yeah, that yeah, was that interesting, interesting and kind of fun to, to think about, about, but that was a kid. That was a kid. That was, a kid. That was like literally, literally like, like a child, child in his room, in his room freaking, freaking out. out. He's too young, He's too young to be organizing, to be organizing anything that big. And also, and Tana also, is too Tana young, too young and, too and too irresponsible to do anything. To do anything. Literally, Literally anything. anything. <laughs> and I think, and I think that, that together, together like, like it, there was no way of that working. And now, and now the problem, the problem is, is this kid, kid is literally, is that's real, and he's gonna lose everything. This is crazy. Yeah. yeah. I wish you would have been on that segue for that interview. That would have been so good. <laughs> okay. So I have an Uber coming in literally one minute, um, but I just, I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do. I don't think she understands. Well, okay, I don't want to say it like that, but maybe let her know that like, the creators are probably disappointed too. Like, it, this was my first ever thing that I went to and I didn't get to go. So like, there's probably a lot of other people like that too, you know, like. We did all like, take time off of work. You bought an expensive hotel for us to all stay in. You got us transportation down there and we all took four days off of working. Like, and we're not the people to feel sorry for because we're fine. We didn't sit in the sun forever. But I guess it's just about are you, are you finding whose fault it is, fault it or, is or are you just getting everyone's side, side of the story? Because I don't want this to make Tana look like the worst person ever. But I also don't want to be too easy on her. I don't want this guy's life to be ruined. Like, I literally, I don't know. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck? What would you say? I would say that it's extremely disappointing for someone that I've looked up to for a long time to not seem like they care about dis disappointing so many people. Yeah, and like to see, to see her out partying after like, there are thousands of people crying in their hotel rooms and she's just fine and her future dudes out partying. Like that's, like why do people look up to that? That sounds really mean, really. Like, it's true. Okay, Uber's here. Wish me luck. <laughs> Two months ago, I made a YouTube video being taken out of the and I never thought.
thought that it would amount to this. Walking around TanaCon and seeing all of this happen, I never thought that that would come from this. And I know I'm always preaching the message of following your wildest dreams, but like, who would have thought this bitch would have a convention, okay? TanaCon is no joke. TanaCon is no joke. TanaCon is lit. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god, I feel my heart right now. <laughs> it's like crazy. It's like crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know. If right. the camera shakes, the camera sorry. Shakes, sorry. Okay, she said she's coming down. <sighs> Do you think Bella Gowen's gonna be there? It's gonna be Maybe, actually. <laughs> actually. Bella Thorne comes out, she's so smart. She's like, I talked to the fire marshal. <laughs> <laughs> she rescheduled everything according to everybody's schedule. She's like, I've already planned the next TanaCon. It's gonna be fine, 10,000 people, no problem. Bitch and Bella Thorne. Got to her still in Anaheim, like, where am I? It's <laughs> a good time to show you my phone background. Ricky Dylan holding the big T. Oh yeah. That's me right now, honestly. <laughs> honestly, that's everybody right now. <laughs> It smells like weed. <laughs> it smells like weed. <laughs> Very much. Bella? Bella? I've been chewing gum this whole time. I'll just put them up. Jesus. Where are you putting it in your pocket? Well, there's not a trash can. Who's that? Who are all these people? Can I shut Has told me that like it's your mom's real estate money and you have plenty of it and you've scammed them. And, like fuck, Michael. I, six months ago, you stopped working on all their stuff to work on Tanacon just to make money off of me. You're angry, like you're like I want to see some of this. Oh, whoa! That was like a conspiracy moment. Why am I going to scam someone? How the fuck would that make sense? For a lot of people, a lot of think she's a mess. Like they don't trust her. They think she's lying a lot. If that is true, I didn't know that. I have the video footage. I think the time of protecting Hannah is over. No one wants this word. No one wants this word. You don't understand. You both fucked over me and thousands of people. There's no way that five thousand people could fit there. There's no way. There's no way. You both knew this wasn't going to work. Is there anything you want to say? Is there anything you haven't got a chance to say? I don't even know how to say this. I don't want you to tell you love me, love me, love me, love me, love me. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot, yo. Holy moly. That's. Yo, I'm hype. I'm hype for the next one, yo. This is tight. This is real tight. I, bruh, I feel like, I feel like it's mo. I feel like Michael's still hiding. I know he's just a kid. 21. I didn't, I didn't even, he looked 30 or Somewhere around the 30s to me. I didn't know he was like 21. Like what? Like. And he's a kid. And you would think. He, you would think that he would know how to run a business at a young age. Really? 
Really? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's too... It's too much to think about as you go on, like, and go with the video. It's weird. It's like... I don't know. Like, you're trying to dig in what Shane is saying... And you understand a lot of it. I feel like Tana is going to say some stuff in the next one that won't make sense and make her look even more bad. It'll make her even look more bad if she keeps on lying. In my perspective, in my opinion, I would think so. But I won't know until the next one comes out. If it comes out tonight, I'm not going to be able to react to it because I'm busy tonight. Maybe tomorrow, somewhere in the morning, I will. And I'll release it, like, in summer in the afternoon. But until then, I can't do no, no more reaction videos for a little while. I think I'll vlog in my other channel. I think this time I'll vlog in my other channel. If you don't know my other channel, it is I and K4L, which is Iverson and Caitlin for Life. And what it is, it's a couple channel that we do challenges, we do vlogs, we do reactions like this. Sometimes we'll do gaming, but that'll be on live stream, though. Um, what else? What else will we, will we, uh, what will we do? I'm going to prank her one day. But I'm scared to because I promised myself when I first dated her, like, I would never do a prank on her. But, like, at the same time, I'm so comfortable around her and make her... Make her feel so annoyed that I have to. <laughs> like, I I made that oath that I, when I first dated her, like, I will never prank this woman. I think we're going to break that promise a little. But, yo, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It's your boy, Iverson Torres. Around, we coming around you. That sounds so wrong. Oh God. Um we're gonna end up we're gonna edit that out. Um it's your boy. Peace. Love y'all.